we have a new method of creating AI agents, introducing Rivet, the IDE for creating complex AI agents, prompt chaining, and embedding it into your own application. Now on this channel, we have covered multiple types of apps that are used to create AI agents, whether it was Abacus.ai, Chidori, or SuperAGI. However, Rivet differs from all of these types of apps as its focus is primarily on creating more complex AI agents that are designed with an additional toolkit and plugins that are not found with these other apps. The great part is, is that Rivet is fully open source. They recently released this to be fully open source, which is a game changer for creating AI agents. Now it has a really nice visual programming environment which we see over here and it also allows you for basic codes to be worked upon with creating different types of agents. Now this node based system basically simplifies the AI creation process which ensures accessibility for individuals with various different types of levels of programming knowledge. Now Rivet's AI's core strength lies in its ability to facilitate the design as well as the connection of nodes to craft AI agents, making it so much more of a valuable tool for both like seasoned AI developers as well as for people who are new and working with AI. Now, Rivet, Flowwise, as well as Langflow are all something that share a visual programming uh, paradigm. And this is something that is very powerful, but also makes it visually similar in that sense. You can see that you're, there's like a drag and drop type of interface in which you can deploy different types of agents by dragging and coding certain types of applications with another type of app to create a certain type of AI agent. Now this is something that is very similar with these other applications and it's something that we see with Flowwise as well as with Langflow. But the things that make Rivet different is its remote debuggability, ease of embedding directly in a host application as well as its TypeScript compatibility. And this is overall something that is great to see with Rivet as it has more of a functionality in those terms as well as a more customizable way to create these AI agents. And this is something that I'll showcase throughout today's video by demonstrating how you can create a complex AI agent as well as going more in depth with installing this application locally on your desktop. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. As you mentioned at the start, we're gonna talk a little bit more about what Rivet is as it's a complex platform to create different types of AI agents with its IDE. It's fully open source and it has a visual AI programming environment, which we can see over here. Now Rivet offers a unique and valuable feature that distinguishes itself from other AI development tools like Langflow, Abacus AI, as well as Flowwise. Now the combination of its node based system, its visual programming environment, and the ability to create complex AI agents with additional toolkits and plugins makes it so much more of a versatile platform compared to those other applications. And this is something that we're going to showcase throughout this video in which we're going to show how to create complex AI agents. Now if you go down a little bit more, we're going to talk a little bit more about what AI that Rivet is actually about, talking a little bit more about why you should use it, and going more in depth to the instance installation process as well as the demo of what you can do with this application. So with that thought, let's get to the next step of the video and um, where we actually install this locally on our desktop. If you guys would like to access our private discord in which you can get exclusive giveaways, exclusive subscriptions to AI applications, partnerships, collaboration, and so much more, definitely take a look at this in the link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as we talk a little bit more about different things in the AI world. So with that thought, let's get right back into the video. To install Rivet, there's a couple ways in actually doing this. You're able to do this through their one-click installer, or you can actually install it using the source. Now, I highly recommend that you just stick with the basic way in which they can download it for whatever processor you have. So in this case, if you have Windows, you can just easily go forward and click on the Windows installation uh, like application. So in this case, I'm going to be showcasing this method. But if you are going to be building from the source, it's something uh, that you might want to keep in mind is that you need to make sure that you have Rust, have Node 20+, make sure that you have Yarn. 
you need to make sure that you have these prerequisites installed before you move forward and once you have that done you need to make sure that you have git which is an application that will help you clone this repository so what you need to do is copy this code onto your command prompt and once you have cloned this repository go into the rivet folder build the yarn once you have built that you can start running it with yarn dev and you'll be able to open it up onto your local host and that's basically easy as that but in this case i'm going to be showcasing how to install it with this one click installer so in this case i have windows so i'm going to go onto their actual rivet uh website and then click download for windows and to get the installation i'm going to fully install it and i'll launch it i'll be right back during the installation, I have installed its installer. I double clicked it once I have done that. It says Windows protected your PC, but in this case, you can just click run away. It's completely safe, so you don't need to worry about this, but do it at your own discretion. Now, once you have done that, you can click next, save it to whatever location file you want to save it towards, click next, install it. And once this is done, I'll be right back and I'll launch this fully up. And just like that, we have fully installed Rivet. Now this is the interface that will be used to create these complex AI agents. You're able to run the test, run it, and as well as deploy it in different areas. Now we're gonna get more into this a little while later, but we're gonna first talk a little bit more about the features. So with that thought, let's get to the next step and talk about that. So why would you actually wanna use Rivet? Now, one of the main features about this is something that in which you're able to visualize and build using its UI as this amazing application provides you with this visual programming environment and you're able to create these complex ai agents with its complex chains and it's basically utilizing different plugins different types of methods to create these agents with all the different toolkits that are incorporated with its visual programming environment and this way you're able to easily see as well as work alongside with the actual application to create these complex ai agents Another feature is it's debugging remotely and this is something that gives you a deeper look into its inner workings of the AI application. You're having the ability to observe the execution of the prompt chains in your application in real time, which is something that is very crucial for identifying and resolving different types of bugs efficiently. Lastly, you have the collaboration feature and this is where Rivet promotes this collaboration within your team by representing different graphs in the YAML files. So you can basically use any version in them with your team's repository and you can basically work alongside with your team with certain types of projects when creating these AI agents. Now these are just one of the many types of features but this is why you would want to use this compared to many of these other different types of applications. I know this might look a little bit more like graphically intense or it's, it looks more code intense but if you have a basic knowledge on code i highly recommend that you use this because you will have more custom customizable like features as well as more, more toolkits to, like basically design and create different sizes of ai agents compared to like langflow or like flowwise for example but not saying that they're bad it's just this is gives you more range of tools to basically develop more complex ai agents now i'm going to showcase one usability someone was actually able to create in their own chatbot in which it responds as a chemist so in this case uh, we can see over here the prompt is that you are an expert chemist find all the mfos mentioned in this context try to make the predictions on their stability as well as have a justification for your answer your output should be in a json format do not make up answers and from this prompt he, they give a context from a json file and from this json file it's exported in a json format after the chat bot has been generating the responses and this was fully created using a uh, rivet and we can see over here it starts off with the context that's given through a file it is then sent to the chat bot and the chatbot is then basically extracting the JSON file and it is then released in the JSON file. And this is from the input text. Uh, you give it the context of what you are going to be responding with, as well as the prompt as to what it should do when a response is given to the chatbot. And in this case, it then utilizes GBT4 model and then it lastly extracts it as a JSON file. And this is just one simple little like agent that was created with rivet 
but there's so much more you can do with this uh, but it's just a cool way as to what you can do as well as deploy it in different environments now i'm going to be showcasing as to how you can do this with rivet in the next step of the video so what you want to do first is click on the settings tab on the top right go on to settings and once you are here you want to go on open ai and input your open ai api key this will make you utilize the gpt models when executing and creating different types of ai agents now in general you can select different types of themes you have molten theme you have the grapefruit theme as well as the taffy theme so in this case you can close it and then open it up and you'll be able to see this now let's get to the next step where i'll now showcase how to create your first ai agent now once you're on the interface you can see over here uh, once you have set your api keys you want to make sure that the executor is on browser you can also change it to node but in this case we're going to have it on browser at this current moment now what you can do while you're working with this ai agent is that once you have created it you can basically go on and basically host it off the debugging local host url in which you can work alongside as well as test how the ai agent is off your local host so if you're basically creating this chatbot you're able to basically chat with it and test out if it's basically creating accurate generations off the local host and this is something in which you can run as well as host off the remote debugger and this is something that they set up within the rivet application so that you can easily host it and basically have this remote debugger start working alongside with your ai creation and your ai agents that you just basically deployed now what you want to do first in terms of creating your ai agent is clicking on new graph now you're able to create different types of folders in which you can create different uh like graphs within so in this case i'm going to name this as a chatbot for i don't know world of ai for example this is something that will be responding to world of ai in this case you can right click on your mouse or you can press space to open this up and this is where you're able to build different nodes on this ui so in this case i can build a different common text node which could be output a string of text it gives you a demonstration as to what you can do with it uh in this case you can also do a common chat but on this case i'm going to utilize ai chat and this is a chat node that will utilize the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. Now, something that you can also keep in mind is you can tweak this and change it to different other models. Uh, you're able to play around with the different types of temperatures. You can split it in a different way and have different types of splits. Uh, the node title is over here as well as giving this description over here. Now, this is something that I'm just going to basically create. You can have the chatbot respond in a certain type of prompt assemble a different prompt so it, it assigns the chatbot to respond in a certain type of way so now you can have the system prompt linked up and this is by putting it over here or you can change it to the prompt now there's different types of configurations in which you can incorporate different nodes you can have different lists uh give you different types of numbers objects data as well as logics inputs and outputs in which you can have it stored in a different type of storage which is pinecone over here so you can have different types of outputs linked to over here you're also able to incorporate it and export it in different types of files which we saw at the start you're able to export it as a json file and so much more this is just an example guys and i'm just gonna show you a basic user interface uh, on their channel or on their actual documentation they give a good representation as to how it actually operates they give you a good overview of the interface working with different nodes how to set this up so if you want a more in-depth analysis as to what you can do as well as exporting your graphs creating different graphs working with different projects making it collaborable so you can work alongside with different people with the same graph splitting it subgraphs executors recordings incorporating different types of plugins that are not already there as well as creating your own plugin they have inbuilt plugins you're able to utilize different applications like anthropic uh, and so much more guys this is just the top of what i talked about just i just basically scratched the top of this there's so much more to this so i highly recommend that you check this out but in summary these are some of the small features in which you can use to actually create very powerful and complex ai agents so i highly recommend you check this open source project out as it's something that puts it aside compared to these other ai applications that are used nowadays so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value throughout this video about rivet 
I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you check out our Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. Follow World of AI on Twitter to get the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to our notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so we can stay up to date with the latest AI news and content. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.